In the previous video, we learned how to read in portions of a CSV file. In this video, we're going to learn how to rename and manipulate columns. So recall that our year column does not have a name right now. The Ontario column has extra characters at the end. And if we try to use this data in a regression, we're going to be up against a big challenge. So we should rename our columns to be easier to work with. And we have two strategies we can take advantage of. The first strategy is we can rename all of our columns. We can just provide a list of brand new column names for all the columns in our data frame. The second strategy is we can use the rename function to rename just a couple of columns. We do this by specifying the old column names and what the new column names should be. Let's try method one first. So our first method, if we want to rename all of our columns at once, and this is useful for when we have a small data frame, we can create a list of new column names and then set the columns property of your data frame equal to this new list. So let's say we want our column names to be year, number Canada undergrads, and number Ontario undergrads. We create a new variable called column names, set it equal to square brackets, and then year, comma, number Canadian undergrads, comma, number of Ontario undergrads. And then we say grads.columns equals our new column names. Let's come back into Python and give this a try. All right. So back in Python, I want to rename my grads B variable. This is the data frame that we've been using. So I'll do grads. First off, I'll create a new variable called column names and set this equal to square brackets. My first column name is going to be year. My second column name is going to be number Canada undergrads. And my third column name is going to be number Ontario undergrads. Next, I'll say grads B dot columns equals column names. And if I run this code and take a look at my data frame, so now the year column has the proper year name. I now have number Canada undergrads, number Ontario undergrads. So this is strategy one for renaming your columns. You can do them all at once with a column name list. Now, let's take a quick detour. What would happen if I didn't specify all the column names? After all, in our original data frame, it was only year that didn't have a column name, right? So what if I tried doing this? I'm going to take out number Canada undergrads and number Ontario undergrads, and I'll say column names equals year. If I try to run this, I get an error from Python, length mismatch. Axis has three elements, new values have one. What does this mean? Our data frame has three columns. And if we use method one, we have to give new column names for all the columns in our data frame. This is because Pandas is expecting new names for all of our columns if we use this method. Now, what if we only wanted to rename, say, one of our columns or two of our columns? Well, this is where method two would come in. We could rename our columns by using new names. So if we only want to rename a couple of columns, we can use the rename function on our data frame. And we pass in a map of old names to new names. So for example, and we'll use the original data frame for this, we're just going to rename the first and third columns from unnamed zero to year and Ontario nine or whatever number is at the end to just Ontario. So check out how this works. We say we create a new variable called column map and set it equal to squiggly bracket, unnamed zero colon year. So we say, here's our old column name and here's the new column name I want this column to have. Then here's my old column name, separate these with a comma. Here's my old column name and here's the new column name I want this column to have. And then I say my data frame is equal to my data frame dot rename. And then I specify columns equals this column map. Let's give this a try. 
So we'll use the grads data frame here. So this is from the previous example, we were just doing skip rows equals eight. So this is the example where we were just saying, skip this number of rows. So we'll create column map and set this equal to squiggly brace, unnamed zero colon, and now I'm gonna specify the new name, which is year. Now let's just do that for now. And then I'll say grads equals grads dot rename columns equals column map. And if I run this code, and I actually also need to come down here and correct my original code here from column names, uh, number Ontario grads, uh, number Canada, or number Canada grads, excuse me, and number Ontario grads. There we go. Now the whole file runs. So if I come into my grads data frame, you'll see that the year column has been renamed, but the Canada column and the Ontario 9 column have not yet been renamed. So that's because I'm using this column map. I've said unnamed zero, rename that to be year. I can rename the Ontario column too. So Ontario 9, I want that new name to be just Ontario. If I run this code, take a look at the grads data frame, I've got year, Canada, Ontario as my column names. So these are two strategies that you can use to rename your columns. Strategy one, specify a list of new column names. Strategy two, specify the old names of your columns followed by the new name of your column. So now we've created user-friendly column names. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to make calculated columns.